Hello there, my name is Leandro Guerra, the founder of The Outspoken Market, and my mission is to simplify things to you. Have you ever wondered how some of the most sophisticated funds in the world, they seem to consistently find edges where everyone else just sees noise? The truth is, behind that performance, you often find advanced statistical tools that most traders have never heard of. The point is, one of those tools is the Hidden Markov Model, also known as HMM. Now, don't let the name scare you. The concept is powerful, but it's not mystical and it's actually simple. In fact, once you break it down, it's surprisingly intuitive. So, what is a Hidden Markov Model? At its core, it's a way to model systems that we believe are driven by hidden states, things we can't observe directly, but that leave clues in the data we can observe. In finance, that usually means market regimes. Think about it. Markets can be in a bull phase, a bear phase, or maybe in a sideways consolidation. But those regimes aren't announced to us. They are not obvious. You don't wake up to a headline saying the bull market starts today. Well, maybe they try, but it's not how it works. Instead, you only see prices, returns, volatility, and the hidden Markov model is a statistical way to infer those hidden states from the data. Here's how it works. A hidden Markov model assumes that there are hidden states, for sure, like the bull, bear, or high volatility markets, for example, each state has a probability distribution that generates the observations we see. For example, in a bull market, you might see more frequent positive returns bigger than the negative ones, while in the bear market, it's the opposite, together with higher volatility. The states evolve over time, following a Markov chain, which is just a fancy way of saying that the next state depends on the current state not the entire past history. The hidden part is that we don't see the state directly. We only see the outcomes, the returns, the volatility, the uptrend, the patterns, and we use the model to estimate which state we are likely in. So how do we train a hidden Markov model? This is where math and algorithms come into play. The two main tasks are estimating the parameters of the model, so the transition probabilities between the states, and the distributions of returns within each state. Typically, algorithms like the bound welk method are used to fit the model to the historical data. Then, once the model is trained, we can use the Viterbi algorithm to decode the most likely sequence of hidden states, or calculate the probability of being in each state at the current time. Now, how this is then used in quantitative finance? There are several applications for sure. One, it's regime detection. A hedge fund might use a hidden Markov model to estimate if the market is currently in a high volatility state or a low volatility state, and then adjust the leverage accordingly. Another is asset allocation. If the model suggests a transition into a risk-off regime, capital can be shifted from equities into bonds or cash, for example. It's also used in signal generation. For example, combining hidden Markov model regimes with momentum or mean reversion signals to avoid trading during periods when those strategies periodically perform poorly. And here's a curiosity that I personally find fascinating. The hidden Markov models have been used, of course, outside finance for decades. In speech recognition, for example, when you speak into your phone, the software doesn't directly see the words, it sees the waves, the sound waves. The hidden states are the phenomena, the building blocks of the speech, which the model decodes into the words. That same framework can be applied into the markets. Instead of sound waves, we feed in returns or volatility. Instead of the sounds, we get regimes. It's a beautiful example of how techniques from one field 
migrate and create breakthroughs in another. So what is the point here? What's the conclusion? The hidden Markov models are not about predicting tomorrow's price to the cent. They are about understanding the structure beneath the surface, capturing shifts in regimes, and making systematic decisions based on probabilities rather than gut feelings. It's exactly this kind of thinking that separates professional quantitative funds from the vast majority of retail trading. So if you found this explanation helpful and you want to learn more about quantitative finance and AI and how they are applied into the real world, make sure to subscribe to the channel here at the Outspoken Market Global. We dive into these topics with in depth, that it's the necessary one only, and clarity without the hype. And trust me, there is a lot more to explore. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next class. Bye bye. Take care. Ciao, ciao.